What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Rick's Scale RC. Thanks for joining me. So, so far for this week, what I've been working on are rock sliders for the Jeep. Uh, what I've been running so far are these brass ones. I made these a couple years back. They were for another truck. They were actually made for a, uh, a Lexan blazer body. Um, basically, they're, they're brass tubing, round tubing, and square tubing that were brazed together. And then um, I painted them with, like, truck bed liner. And it held up good for a little while, but with that heavy Jeep sliding across the rocks, it's uh, taking a toll on them. The biggest downfall to these is the way they mount. You know, these mount with these plastic mounts and then these bolt to the frame and basically what happens is these things flex and this still comes up and hits the body uh, I know I can get aluminum mounts for these and eliminate that problem but like I said I, I did these a few years back and, and basically I just I feel like I can do better now and I think they look pretty good so, with that being said, here's some video of uh, the rock sliders being built. I hope you guys enjoy. My plan is I have this quarter inch round bar, solid round bar. That's going to be the main slider. And then I have some solid 3 16 round bar. And uh, we're going to build a little hoop that comes up. But... First thing is we're gonna get this bottom piece mounted, and once I get them where I, you know, where I want it, then then we'll work on that three sixteenths piece. Okay, so I have pre-cut the main slider, the bottom one. So I have both of those cut and ready to go, and I've also pre-cut the mounts. This is out of a fourteen gauge steel. Uh, plate that'll mount to you know like the same screws for your cross member here's a spare frame I have we're gonna use you know the, the four center holes so this will bolt here with some bolts go through it and then uh, we'll weld some pieces on there and then this piece will get welded there And then there'll be another one up here, obviously. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get all the holes drilled out on this so we can get them mounted to the frame. All right, guys, we're out at the drill press. So I'm going to get these holes drilled out. We'll get back inside and get it mounted to the frame. And you just want to kiss it, don't go too crazy. Start going too crazy, it'll get ugly real fast. This is kind of what you want to end up with. guys so we got those plates mounted to the frame and uh, off camera I went ahead and figured out the measurements for the pieces that would connect the plates that bolt to the frame and this outer rock slider uh, just to assure that filming went smoothly when we did this one so these pieces are one and five eighths they're going to get welded to here and then we'll weld them to the plate that's mounted to the frame 
This one is not mounted. This one's just propped up here on uh, some stuff that I got stacked up. But that's what we're going to do today. We're going to get this one welded to look like this. And then, uh, and then we'll work on getting them both welded to those plates. Okay guys, so we're outside. I have my pieces clamped down nice and tight. Everything's measured where it needs to be, nice and square. Identical to the other. Hit it again on this side too.
Welcome back everyone. Hope you enjoyed seeing the process of uh, getting the rock sliders built, welded together, and mounted. Uh, I'm super happy with how they turned out. Uh, I haven't painted them yet because I still may add another bar that come up, go the whole length, and then bend back down and they'll get welded on either end. So I'm just kind of waiting until I decide. I, I kind of like it this way, so I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. Um, and as you can see, I've also got some new tires mounted up. We stepped up to the 1.9 Proline TSL Super Swamper XLs. I can't say enough about them. I'm happy with them. I actually had these tires before. Uh, I was running them on the Toyota, but I just happened to like the Hyrax, the Proline Hyrax tires. I like them better uh, looks on the Toyota and performance wise so they I just you know decided to keep them on that truck and I've just had these sitting around and I wanted to put them on here but I was kind of up in the air and then plus I was also missing two foams so now that I got the foams in we mounted them up and uh, I'm super happy with it I think it looks good and like I said, you'll see in the videos, it, it, it does a lot better. Um, but that's all for this one. Thanks to all of the new subscribers. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like for me. And please subscribe for more RC goodness if you haven't already. And um, definitely be sure to leave me a comment. I love talking to you guys. It's really, it's really, I enjoy it. I love talking to you guys. And, uh, and that's it for this one, guys. Thanks to all of you. Take care. I will see you soon.